everyone, this is the Mad Salvi letting you know that unless things are proven with Twitter posts and stuff like that and actual, have actual proof behind it, treat everything in this thing as a theory. I will mark try to mark certain things as news and theory and everything like that to kind of let you guys understand, but also, you know, use a critical mind. And I hope you do enjoy. All right, this is a big one when it comes to Twisty. Uh, the people who don't know who Twisty Amano is, Amanozaki, is uh, Twisty Amanozako is someone that came in with uh, Denoth. Uh, the newest one, which is, you know, Clara and uh, Ryoma, I believe. They're all in there. And they had, uh, she had a collab with Vantacro, at the very least in the sense that they were talking to each other. They were in the same VC, uh, just to keep him company is my guess. And this was what was being done. It was the Elden Ring DLC. Totsu, basically, they're trying to get to the point where the DLC will work. Because uh, in order to get the DLC to actually start, you have to beat Moog. The, the the that blood dude i uh, have to beat moog in, in the lower lower section in one of the the blood areas so he's hard to beat he ain't easy to beat but you have to beat him before that and you know here here's him on stream but we're gonna go over absolutely everything that happened and um you know hopefully we are going to hear the things that twisty is saying does any does any old vantacru remember step crow you guys remember that step crow oh step, step, step crow is almost my nsfw tag you're into incest oh god <laughs> What? Oh, wait, you want me to be your sister? No! Whoa, whoa, no. let's see it again. Step Crow? Step Crow is almost my NSFW tag. You're into incest? No! Oh, wait, you want me to be your sister? No! 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 no. She says, are you into incest? Is that why you want me to be your sister? Okay. No! No! Oh, no! No! Oh. no! Guys, guys, I'm gonna end the stream. Uh, you guys have a good one. It's been real. Um, this is the end, this is the end of Elden Ring. <laughs> uh, uh, I'll see you guys next week on... Uh, for the DLC? No, you can't uh, end it here. I need Sunny to come in here. Yeah. No. You're Sunny. not happy with this now you want Lady to see us all? Oh my god! Oh god. It's rage bait, it's rage bait, it's rage bait. It's rage bait. It, 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 it is, it is rage bait. It is, it is, it is. Don't it is. Worry, it's just rage bait. I don't care. That is, that is the only way I will be able to sleep tonight. Is if, I, if I tell myself it's rage bait, it's rage bait. It's rage bait, it's rage bait, it's rage bait. Even for me? No, no, you don't rage bait. No, 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 you don't do that. You don't do that. You're not You're not a rage baiter. I just don't understand. Like, I thought you loved Kirana, so why do you want me too? I'm so greedy, You You put a lot of words into my. <laughs> he said you like Cla yeah, Clara, so how come you're putting words in you know mouth? Like, Twisty, me? You put a lot of good words into my mouth. That's crazy. That's crazy. When did I say that? When did I when did I say that? Name name that. You name just that. did. I did not say Clara, that. Never... Do you feel loved? Oh my god. I, I don't know anymore. I, I don't... listen to her. She sounds so broken. What are you doing? <laughs> oh my god. What are you talking about? What are you doing, about? Step Crow? Step Crow? Oh god. god. I can't. I can't. I can't. What the fuck, bro? I can't help you. What the I can't help you, but I can't help you. What do you mean? You can't help me. I, I, I can't help you. I don't know. I don't know what I can do. That's the problem. Brother. I don't know how I can help you. <laughs> yes, yes, we, you are my brother. But in this instance, I'm not because that would make me also hurt. Yeah. I'm sorry. Oh my god. Oh god, her step, bro. You don't want to be my brother, Wilson? Um. I'm gonna I feel like we can have like a good like brother sister. We could be like Twilly, you know. A what now? Like Twi a Twilly. No, no, no. Twilly? We're not creating ship tags for sibling relationships. What? No, we're not doing that. No, no. no. Not, that's no. not what I was saying. Holy inappropriate! Yeah, bye, yeah, bye, yeah, bye. Yeah, bye, yeah, bye. You want to see us like that? Man, this you. This is what is fucking... wrong with you? What the? Fuck? I was just thinking of like family tags. What are you talking? What's a family tag? <laughs> You're making up <laughs> shit. <laughs> we're family. Wait, we're gonna, You're we're thinking gonna play, of like inappropriate stuff. We're gonna play house now. Zomboy together. What do you mean? What do you mean a family tag? Then just adopt his last name like you did with Sunny and me. No. What, what do you mean? Why is why is the rule? Why are the rules different all of a sudden? See, let me twist you. I think how many surnames do you have now? You know. Well, like, it's, many, it's, it's how many I'm literally just Twisty Briscoe. Is it still just Briscoe? She's everything. Yeah. I mean, Vanta is my step girl, so. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Going down. You're finished. It's okay. Huh? Do you want to feel my hand? It's okay. Thanks, me. Uh, okay. Huh? What? What? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, what? <laughs> Neck? Huh? What about my hand? What about my hand? Holding hands. Which is, I'm, I'm simply just better, Twisty. I don't know how to tell you this. I, 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 know, I, know. I can touch your boobs, and if you touch them, then you're a creep. <laughs> I think I'd be a lot more than just a creep, but you know, you're right. You're definitely right. So I win. You What's want my weird? maid? You want my mom? What? You want your stepmother? What's wrong with you? What? Oh my goodness! It's, okay, I, what? You're what kind of disgusting, step girl. What? What fan fiction are you writing? What is going on? I can't keep up with this. They put me in the rubber room with rats. Yeah. Yes, should we limit, you know, the brothers to just Sir Sunny? Oh, God. Hmm? What do you limit, mean? You know, he please. literally was, like, begging to be my brother. Sir Vanta sent by us? Yeah, do I remember that? Oh, Why God. Why am I not your brother? I was not begging you, though. Yes, you were. You were on your knees. I saw it. What the fuck? Kind of weird. You're weird. Kind of weird. I meant, I meant, like, in games. In game? What game? What yes. game terms are we using? In Minecraft, yes. Actual game terms or like the other game terms, if you know what I mean. In Minecraft. 
Ah, okay. Yes, oh. in Minecraft. Game terms. What other game terms? Why'd you say well, that like former, that? F former hitman. Because okay. Wilson likes to describe sexual situations uh, in what? gamer terms. Ah, okay. Huh? Oh, Wilson, no. yeah. You mean you mean when, when there's co-op and, and then and like then something close spawns. To the climax and you're yeah. like, no, 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 no. Why does that always get these people? Vento, I can't. Vento, I can't. Vento, I can't. Vento, I can't. I can't. I can't. Vento, I can't. I'm sorry. I got. I, I can't. I can't. I can't do this. If, if you want. If you want to leave, I understand, bro. I really do. I feel you. I feel you. I, I am unfortunately streaming, and I have titled this stream in Open Totsu. I, I am going nowhere, but I understand if you need to take a break. Uh, quite literally yesterday, actually. Um, I was told by a couple of people close to me, uh, personal people, alongside with some replies to yesterday's Totsu vod. Um, I guess technically it was today but because it i ended pretty late the point is is that uh i heard i've heard some interesting things about how the totsu went uh and i'm i can't say i can't help but be a bit confused yeah uh namely because the things that i've been told uh they feel kind of inverse to one another yeah um but basically the point is the first thing i've heard is that um a couple of chatters were making really not so great comments toward twisty now, I saw that. I have no I way to verify it. this uh, because I did not check the VOD myself. However, with multiple people coming forward and saying that that is the case, uh, I feel the need to speak up because, as we all know, that is a part of my chat rules. Do not talk down about any other liver or about any other person or creator. We don't talk. We don't. We don't speak ill of others in this chat, especially not other livers. So, if that was going on, uh, I would kindly ask you to refrain from doing that. And Absolutely. Effect immediately. Uh, that would be very kind of you. Otherwise, uh, I guess measures will have to be taken uh, to keep, make sure that's uh, put in place. Uh, but the other thing I want to bring up that is very pertinent to me, because it seems that uh, a few a few peeps might be unaware of how things are conducted. Uh, if Twisty and on that subject, if any Niji Liver ever says anything to me or does something or engages in something that makes me feel uncomfortable. I'm going to tell them. Now, I may not tell them on stream. As a matter of fact, I probably won't. As uh, in my mindset, uh, the show must go on. And there's yes. always a way to recover from that, these things. Yes, there is. We're all, we're all adults. We can get through this without making a big fuss about every single thing. But if somebody ever does say something that I find uncomfortable, I will tell them. I will let them know in a respectful manner. And I, I would hope that they would extend that same right to me. They would afford me those exact same privileges and tell me if I do something that makes them uncomfortable. That's just kind of an agreement that we have. Adults, so communication. I, while I appreciate... Fuck. Any comments that try to create boundaries between me and other livers, I would ask you kindly to refrain from doing that as well, because I will establish my own boundaries. I can handle things, and that's pretty much it. So yeah, he had to actually come out because yes, there were people who who said down here they were like, "I'm sorry, I have to say this, but honestly, really concerned with how rude Chad is to Twisty. I hope you can address this because Chad has really been unbearable this last few weeks, and it's even worse in this stream. The stream is very funny, and I actually watched it from the start to end." But seeing how chat was during the during and after Twisty left made me uncomfortable and just sad how they celebrated when she when she left. So I hope you can address this chat. I really appreciate it if you could tell your chat not to villainize Twisty whenever she joins and leaves. People take her bratty banter stuff too seriously when we all know you guys are cool with her. It's sort of too much to see in chat. That was a great Totsu gameplay, however, and I am looking forward to the DLC. So that is the big issue. Twisty was saying things that made, you know, it was just banter. It was just stuff, but people took it really bad. Uh, a lot of Vantacro people, the people who like Vantacro's uh, stuff is, uh, you know, we're angry at her. We're saying, oh my God, how dare you do this? How dare you bring a stream down? You should leave, blah, blah, blah. They were saying all these horrible things to her. And, you know, he himself was like, don't do that. Don't do that. Like after stream, because right now the, sh the show must go on. Of course, he's focused on doing Elden Ring, which is something that does actually take focus. You, I've had moments where I have had banter and things like that. I always mention to people, hey, if my banter ever makes you feel uncomfortable, send me a message through Discord. Because if we're if we're collabing, we have each other's Discord. Send me a message, I will tone it down, and I'll make sure not to do that type of banter again. Just because I want to respect people's space. He does too. Twisty does as well. They all work on the same thing. They all talked about it. They've talked to each other before. They're adults. They don't need their hands held. They can do it themselves. But that is a big situation that hit with Twisty and people not, since she's so new, people not being used to her banter, at least people outside of her community not being used to her banter. And that's all I wanted to have on this end. Uh, you know, thank you guys for watching this part. Yet another uh, one that is going on some sort of break. It's been one month since Hanamachia has streamed. Uh, they said uh, Hanamachia channel, last time they streamed something was a month ago. They may be busy with stuff like, you know how Gura on Hollow Life side has been busy with things. Um, it is one of those situations where uh, people can get very busy with bigger projects if they have it. In Nidisanji, you start thinking other things, of course, 
Recently thinking about what happened to Niji ID when it suddenly popped into my mind that I hadn't seen any of her sort of activity from Hana. Hana's like the biggest one that stayed, pretty much. Uh, so I checked her channel, find she has not streamed in a month. I checked her Twitter to see if I had missed a hiatus announcement or something. She's also not very active there either. Um, this doesn't seem very well. Something I've noticed occurring with Hana as of late, uh, where she would disappear for increasingly long periods of time and then return for increasingly short periods. So it could be she maybe has other work. She may be has decided to quiet quit, which a lot of uh, Niji Sanji livers seem to be doing, which is quiet quitting. This is a rumor on my end. This is my little narrative, my little rat. Gonna mar mark it out there so you don't think that I have any actual evidence behind it. I don't. It's circumstantial. I don't have any actual evidence. Uh, it's been a trend of the old Niji ID and KR members uh, that they're remaining to have taken a step back from streaming. Streaming is a part-time job for them rather than being a full-time gig now. Few of the graduated talents were saying that they don't even make enough money from streaming to keep it up. So yeah, it's unlike Hololive that gives you a bare minimum, uh, like Hololive gives you a base salary. It gives you a base salary before you start getting super chats, before you start getting earnings from voice packs and all the other merchandise and promotions. It gives you a base salary first and then you build up on that. Niji Sanji, you're straight up 100% treated as a contractor. Only the money you earn is the money you get in. You don't get any base salary. You don't get any base anything. It's just only the money you earn for that day is what you get in. So if you're trying your hardest and you aren't making jack squat, you're not going to try your hardest anymore. I mean, any human being is going to be that way. They're going to go try to get another work and then stream whenever they can. You know, I don't blame Hana for doing this or anyone else. This is my take. This is my take that is going to probably get a ton of people against me. It could, it could not. But at the very least, I want you to understand my take on this. Illyra has done a lot of things that you can criticize her for. Absolutely. You absolutely can. The black screen stream was a very bad one. That was one that she should have never done. Um, there are rats, but then again, they're just rats. They're just rumors. They're just things, narratives that people are putting around about her being part of a clique and her being part of a bully squad and all that kind of stuff. Unless it has been verified 100% that it's her, I take it as a rat, as everyone else should. But here's the issue. This person's going through everything, and I'm just gonna gonna summarize what this person's saying. This person's saying, you know, there was a Doki Bird situation, then you had the infamous black screen stream, which was done, you know, and made uh, Doki Bird very anxious about that. That's very bad. They're, you know, Kurosanji doesn't have any professional management standards, nothing like that. So, and then you lead up to the present, Vox and Lyra seem doomed, just like any liver, but as streamers as well. Um, they they do have a lot of money. And they do have a lot of things, uh, you know, they're young and all that kind of stuff. And they're like, ah, whatever, it's going to go, it's going to fly by. But um, they have gotten a lot of negativity. The issue that I have is recently Illyra has posted that she is in a bad mental state. I don't know if she's recovered from that, but she's posted in a bad mental state. I can empathize with that and I can sympathize with that because I've had tons of that. I suffer from uh, just persistent depressive disorder, they call it, pretty much for the rest of, since I was five for the rest and since then till now and the rest of my life i'm gonna have that so i do have bad moments and the thing is you have to be human about it remember there's a human behind there yes a very flawed human a human who has made many mistakes and you can criticize them all you want for all those mistakes but don't bully don't go and harass don't tell them they should quit don't tell them that they're a bully and they should be gone and all that kind of stuff because it doesn't help especially when they are in a bad mental state no matter how bad someone is unless you know they're like extremely, extremely bad like actually hurting somebody or ending someone's life or something like that you can have a little bit of sympathy for the things that they go through. Of course, this person down here is saying uh, when you get a little bit older, you understand that uh, when young people mess up these days, it hits them really hard. Like it can ruin their career. Back in the day, it was like, oh, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a little screw up. You'll recover from this. You'll get better from this. As long as you learn, you're good. But nowadays, in the way that the world works and the way that the society seems to work, it's very short attention spans and when it comes to good things, long attention spans when it comes to bad things, you can get hurt. I know this personally. You can get hurt by someone making up stuff. You can get hurt by someone writing a document on you online. You can get hurt by someone just spreading their hatred of you online. And then you get a whole group of people that dislike you. I've experienced that myself. That's, how, I guess, why I can empathize and sympathize with someone like Lyra. I do not ever condone anything that she's done. Don't take me as an Lyra defender because I'm not. You look at all of my videos and you can absolutely tell I'm not an Lyra defender, but I'm just saying they're humans behind the mask as long as they, you know, realize that they made the mistake and they don't keep doubling down and tripling down on those mistakes. I feel that um, at the very least, don't bug them anymore. If you don't like them, be rid of them. Just be done with them, but don't bug them anymore. This is a good thought exercise of trying to figure out what's going on with Nidhi Sanji trying to keep its talents if they're trying to actually do anything. 
Uh, person says here, personally, I think the recent wave of concerts and three-day debuts are as much an incentive to the levers as it is to shareholders. Yes, it's basically they're giving them more projects that they can do. They're giving them more uh, promotional stuff, stuff that they can promote their brand with, which is, you know, the concerts, the lives, the AR live, that's the kind of stuff. It makes them think, oh, the company's finally doing some effort for me. Now, is it true? Uh, probably not necessarily. It's probably just a bare minimum, especially since the AR Live was done last year and they finally, you know, completed it and allowed it to be done this year, allowed it to be uh, played this year. So it was it was a a um, more of a of of a token gesture is what I guess I would call it uh, to the livers to say, hey, you know, you can't say that we have never done anything for you because look at all these lives that we're doing for you now. You know, that type of thing. I think that's that's what it ends up being in my mind. Uh, and maybe it wasn't, I mean, I'm pretty sure it wasn't intended to be just a token gesture, but it does become that because they've done nothing else to support. Not sure what Ninja could do at this point, apart from preventing them from leaving early by not signing a mutual agreement with them. I recall reading somewhere recently that they might try something like scheduling a 3D debut for just a day or two after their contract expires to try to entice them to stay for one more year or a two-year contract. Uh, they already tried something similar to that with Mista when he was warned, wanting perms for months to be on that podcast, but they didn't didn't give him perms until after his graduation announcement had already been published and it was perms for the episode scheduled for the day after his graduation stream so yeah they, they try to do those things it doesn't work it's, uh for people that are are uh, a little bit on the smarter side and are like nah dude you're just trying to keep me here i i want i want out and by that time you know if you already want out it's better just to go because if they try to like give you a, a an earnings raise or anything like that they're eventually going to find a reason to get you out of there ron sukiha will be graduating on september 1st Let's take a look at the actual Production Kawaii post here. So we regret to announce that Ran Tsukiha of Production Kawaii's Hana Mizuki will be graduating on September 1st, 2024 due to personal circumstances that have taken a toll on her mental health. So it is personal circumstances, it is mental health. They have come to an agreement, hopefully a, a you know positive agreement for both of them, where they both have you know something going on. It says it's with a heavy heart that we announce the departure of Production Kawaii's Hana Mizuki's talent Ran Tsukiha on September 1st, 2024. Ron Tsukiha is this person here. It is their um, their whole thing. They're making the full announcement. It's the one on the right there. It's the one right here. They made their own announcement, uh, actually announcement stream. They allowed them to announce it before it was going to happen. So they, at the very least, were being kinder than a lot of other organizations that announced it before they their talent got to announce it. So at least right there, they had that. It says, up until now, Production Kawaii has supported Ran Tsukiha in her creative adventures and projects. We have looked forward to transforming her into an idol. However, due to unforeseeable family circumstances, they have greatly impacted her mental health. This following months, she has made the decision to depart from production Kawaii in order to focus on her life, which is very, it's respectful, respectable. We will respect her decision to do so. Following this announcement, we would like to kindly request everyone to respect Ran Tsukiha's privacy, which makes sense. Of course, respect their privacy. Uh, we are extremely grateful to all the contributions she has made to production Kawaii as a whole, not just the company, but also to the talents, many of whom will remember her as a VTuber with many creative talents. Many of Ran Tsukiha's birthday donation rewards have been fulfilled, but for the remainder that hasn't been fulfilled, uh, they are going to be promising to deliver them as soon as possible. Rest assured that we're working with Ran Tsukiha to ensure everything will be delivered by August 2024. So she's still going to be going through all of her her donathon goals. Everything's going to be done. So there is not going to be any need for uh, any type of refunds or anything like that. All merchandise sales relating to Ran Tsukiha alongside memberships will also cease on September 1st. So every, you can get your stuff from Ran Tsukiha, any kind of merch, any kind of voice packs, any kind of stuff before September 1st. Her ex account will be locked after graduation. Her YouTube channel will be left untouched and her content will remain up to signify that she was a part of us once. So it's a good, it's, a, it's like a good little reminder, a good little, little thing there. That's very good. I like that they're doing that. So we hope you can cherish the memories of her with us now and even after her departure. We hope everyone will also respect her decision. Production Kawaii wishes for nothing but the best for Ran Tsukiha from here on. That's very good. And let's see it, what they had for... Um, why the cough syrups only come? It says, thank you all for coming to today's stream with all the sweet messages. Let's make the remaining days a blast minus the days of cough recovery. We don't count those ones. So that I can live up to my name of Ron Insanity Sukiha. And a Kamehameha. Right there, there we go. So yeah, she had her own moment. And let's see what people say about what's going on here. Sachi has a good comfort streamer. Source Production Kawaii. 
It'll be really bittersweet to see Ron go, but as it goes without saying, life is unpredictable and can sometimes go in unexpected directions. Sometimes it can lead to great opportunities, and sometimes it can just flat out suck, which is what's happening right now for Ron. So Ron leaving Kawaii due to unexpected personal circumstances is likely out of her control and is completely understandable. Absolutely. Instead of taking a hiatus, she doesn't know when it, things are going to get better, so it's better to just leave. All the love and good vibes to Ron, her Hanamizuki genmates, her Kawaii kohais and senpais, and most importantly, her family. Yes, any personal circumstances, I do wish for the best for them. I do wish that they, uh, you know, things get better for them and they are able to recover from whatever circumstances they are having. And here is the finisher for uh, Kurosandi's Old Habits Die Hard. Inisan Yana says, you will support us, right? You'll still support us. And then they pull the plug for Billy Billy. They pull the plug on Ian. I hear that. Sounds like a sinking yacht. Well, at least the EN yacht is definitely sinking. It's got a couple holes in it. But I mean, like I said, always. I always say this. Even in the meme section. Do not affect the livers. Hopefully the livers are okay. Hopefully the livers will find a way to be better. Here's a positive note with, of course, Doki Bird. Someone who got was going for the Doki Bird plushie that, you know, paid thousands of dollars for the plushie or hundreds of bucks, whatever it was, for the charity, uh, ended up getting the charity plush today. It, it looks beautiful. It's amazing. It's wonderful. It's good. Uh, Spantum, Pomni, Jojo poster. Yep, exactly. So yeah, it's it's all very fun. Like they have a Jojo poster in the background. They have so many other, like it's the Ollie one there. I believe that's a, that's the Ollie. I'm not sure. I might be incorrect. Correct me if I'm wrong. Has a lot of a lot of plushes, which are nice. I mean, it's nice to have the nice uh, fluffiness with you whenever you need it. And of course, Doki Bird did it for charity. Doki Bird is getting all the benefits uh, of you know, the community that's helping her out and the charity got the huge benefit of having someone like Doki, you know, bring more uh, visual to this to them, bring more, you know, eyes to what was going on, which I love. I love seeing that. Flayon is showing their stuff. Flayon is going to going to make us all feel bad for not being able to do this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at that. How? Number one, very good tracking. Number one, very good tracking to be able to actually track that that is like special number two also the fact that they can do that is special look at that kind of stuff flayon's pole dancing moves really caught me by surprise so they put a pole a pole in hololive's office for the boys you're gosh darn right they did but yago proved this real quick he's always had a soft spot for hollow stars in particular he's slaying not that surprising considering he's probably one of the most physically strong of the group but still the moves man tells you not the, the, the man she tells you not to worry about exactly I mean, that's right there with her. Uh, not been following the boys so much. They really do some incredibly talented stuff. But the fact that they had... This is the difference between Nidhi Sanji and Hollow Life. Hollow Life does these things. Nidhi Sanji would never do this. Like, they actually put a pole in the freaking um, mocap studio or whatever. And they, they had a pole dancing pole so that they could actually do these moves. You don't see this from freaking uh, Nidhi Sanji. You probably never will. Because they don't have very good mocap to begin with. It doesn't seem like it, at least. But holy crap, look at that. Like, I'm just surprised. I'm very happy that they have that, honestly. Of course, Twitch is going to have an issue. Of course, Twitch is going to be the way that Twitch is going to be, always. Uh, VTuber Coconuts is pleading with Twitch for a straight answer on why they are suspended. Right here, you have them saying, hey, Twitch support, and Coconuts is this person here. They are a just, you know, a regular VTuber here. It's just, it's, um, you know, talking about the whole thing. It looks like they're maybe monkey VTuber or something. Uh, it says, I could talk... Could I talk to a real person about my ban instead of y'all's S automated email response? I'd really like to know why I'm getting the same length of ban as someone who had actual intercourse on stream. Hey, Coco, as you can see now that you've applied appeal to suspension and that it was manually reviewed by the team and subsequently denied. Social team are unable to alter this outcome. Didn't appeal anything. I asked why and y'all told me too bad. How am I supposed to appeal something? When I don't even know what I did wrong. Hey, Twitch support, it's your job to just provide the illusion of support since y'all don't seem to actually provide any. Uh, Twitch didn't respond to my ticket and bad appeals, so the F else am I supposed to do? If you could get me a real person to give me a real answer, that'd be great. Day two, and still nothing from Twitch support. Haven't responded to my ticket. They deny my appeal and no message from any rep. Uh, they still refuse to tell me why I got banned. How am I supposed to learn a lesson if I don't even know what I did wrong? And here is the stuff going on here. And a Twitch partner, uh, the mentioned streamer bans, has been banned. Um, and, you know, basically they've, they've been they've been doing other stuff. I guess maybe the, uh, the stuff that they wear, which is not... I mean, it's weird. Yeah, they are a Saru. They definitely are a Saru. But, yeah, I mean, they don't seem to have anything extremely crazy. 
but who knows uh maybe some words maybe some things that was going on twitch is being twitch twitch is being odd it does suck for independent vtubers but it does happen it's happened to me where i've i've gotten things where like it's been marked as like s themes or s explicit that type of stuff was marked with me before so twitch is hitting everybody pretty much almost equally we're moving on to another vtuber that got hit a lot of vtubers are getting hit both from twitch and youtube right now this person here it says um azure delayed shows her asmr stream was removed for s content for eating a cookie let's hear the the sound it says take a look at your content keeping policies in mind <clears throat> and the policies that they're mentioning is nudity uh it says uh audio content that contains explicit uh content isn't allowed on youtube there may be exceptions but most of it is you know not explicit let's hear what she has done she's eating a freaking cookie she's eating a freaking cookie that's all this is. It is eating a freaking cookie. I guess someone, someone probably reported it. Is the only thing I could think of. Yeah, that's, that's just, that's just, that's just ASMR, dude. Also on YouTube, I'm listening to ASMR videos that are literally just B, BJ ear eating noises with half naked VTuber lady on a thumbnail with mega milkers or those where a Japanese maid calls me a disgusting pig while stepping on my face. Holy crap. That's crazy. Brother, I'm going to need help finding those channels. Uh, Halo, Park Donna, Saleta, Kurame Kira. First one I talked about is here. Some videos recommended to be this one. So they're just recommending videos. Uh, you can look at that on your own time. I'm not going to look at those videos there. YouTube definitely dislikes ASMR content with a religious passion. Got to go through a lot of hoops. And hope that they don't notice you're making any ASMR content with animated character. Exactly, because Roblox fanatics, ASMR VTuber haters, and trolls often report them 50-50 cases. Isn't via alert that one agency... <coughs> yeah. <coughs> Their whole agency thing is freaking <coughs> being uh, ASMR related. All of that is ASMR related pretty much. And it sucks for them because, I mean, moving forward, they're going to have a lot of these issues if they continue doing this stuff, unfortunately. That is all for right now. Of course, comment, like, and subscribe down below. Thank you for being here. Of course, I love having the conversations with you guys. I love having these things with you guys. And I do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment. Take a look at my description for my socials. There's a Discord. There's Twitter. There's other places that you can check me out. Twitch, etc. And also check on your screen right now because there might be a video that you might enjoy. Thank you.